Hey, folks, I'm Jimmy Ray Purser. Join me in the lab. Hey, folks, thanks for joining me in the lab today. We're going to talk a little bit about IPv6 multicast routing and what it actually takes to get uh, multicast routing done on the network. Uh, and typically when it comes to, to multicast routing, we're talking about PIM. Um, now there's DVMRP and a bunch of other methods that we can do, uh, but probably the most common one out there um, is uh, PIM sparse mode. You got sparse and dense. Uh, we're gonna set up IPv6 PIM uh, sparse mode and uh, get up and going. And you'll see it as a real piece of cake um, to set this up. With Multicast routing, the biggest part is the planning. The routing, not too tough. Uh, planning it out and making sure we get our trees to configure and everything to fell over right, that is something that we could do a whole TechWise TV show on. Um, so we're just focusing on the commands and assuming that you've already did all the pre-planning stuff done uh, ahead of time. So let's go ahead and get this uh, configured up. Um, and like I said, really not too, not too, uh, too, too difficult um, to get this up and going. The first thing we want to do is actually turn on IPv6 multicast routing. So we'll do multicast, routing, boom, and that turns, um, ah, here we go. We gotta actually do a hyphen on this one. I get a little confused sometimes on this one and the uh, unicast enable, which allows to do IPv6 uh, routing, period. Um, IPv6 is on, uh, but to route it, you actually have to turn it on. For, for multicast, it's multicast hyphen routing. For unicast, it's IPv6 unicast space routing. So uh, just some of the funness of Cisco, right? Um, so let's go ahead and, uh, and, and configure this out. Um, the next thing we wanna do in any good um, IP uh, v6 environment is configure up our rendezvous point. Our rendezvous point is in sparse mode we're having all that information gather and the rendezvous is actually seeing that information out. So where is our rendezvous point at and where is it communicating up? This is our v6 rendezvous point um, that we're setting up. Uh, and uh, there we go. You can see our tunnels that we've already previously configured to make these connections work, work. So now we'll do IP V6. The next thing we're going to do is actually just set up our uh, uh, threshold, uh, which is going to be infinity, of course. IP uh, PIM. Then we'll do S, oops, SPT hyphen threshold. We'll make that infinity. You do have... A, um, a, a range here, um, but we'll just set it all to infinity uh, at this time. So we'll set up uh, infinity, and then our uh, one of our final commands to kind of get down to getting this all configured up and ready is IPv6 PIM accept register our route map that we have previously configured uh, in this. Uh, you know, we're actually playing this stuff out, right? Um, so we'll do route map, techwise TV, plug that in. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's really not much to PIM, right? Um, the only other thing you can do is, if, if you want to, is you can actually go down to the uh, to the to the gigabit interface uh, and, uh, and and set up some additional parameters uh, on each of these interfaces if you want to. So you can do IP v6 PIM, and then we'll just do question mark here, um, so you can see these where you can set up your join intervals, your hellos, your prunes, that type of stuff. Um, like I said, the hardest part about setting up any type of multicast routing is the planning beforehand, setting up my route maps, getting my rendezvous points, getting that set up. But once you get it done, you know, configure to turn on the router's piece of cake. Enable it, uh, tell it where your rendezvous points are at, uh, tell it what your thresholds are, any additional fine-tuning commands you want to do on interfaces, and boom, you're done. Uh, simple as that. Uh, great command. I know that if you're going to do IPv6 routing, uh, you're certainly going to want to do multicasting as well. Thanks for joining me in the lab.